Vancouver Island, and he decided he was going to marry her. Lalette agreed, but Elizabeth did not. Elizabeth is Lalette's mother, of course, right behind me here. The reason Elizabeth said, no, Edward, you can't marry my daughter, is if you'll take a closer look at the photo behind me, you're going to notice that Lalette is 19 years of age, and Edward is 48. So that little bit of an age gap, that 29 years there, made Elizabeth say no. But Edward was determined to convince Elizabeth. So what he did, he said, how about this? I move you up here from Victoria, you can live here for free, and you can have a job managing my bridge for me. Elizabeth accepted, she moved up here with her daughter, and then Edward asked again, Elizabeth, can I marry your daughter Lillette? And so Elizabeth says, no, absolutely not. So what Edward does is he decides he's going to build her a tea house. He says, you can entertain all the visitors and guests to the park in this beautiful tea house. He asks again, Elizabeth, I've given you a job and a tea house. Can I marry your daughter? And Elizabeth says, of course, no, absolutely not. So what Edward does is he thinks a little bit. It's either a third strike and you're out or third time's a charm, right? It's got to be one of the two. So what he does is he imports her flowers from all over the world, primarily rhododendrons and hydrangeas, some of which you will still notice in the park today. They're quite big today because a lot of them are still from that original bloom all those years ago. So he brings her these flowers, builds her these gardens, and he says, okay, Elizabeth, really, come on. I've given you a job, a tea house, flowers from all over the world. What's a guy got to do? Can I marry your daughter? And so Elizabeth says, yes, finally. Being a very grateful son-in-law, Edward immediately packed his bags and moves to Victoria with his new wife. The thing is, he neglects to mention to his new mother-in-law that he's moving anywhere, and he leaves her here all alone in a cabin in the woods. Remembering, of course, that North Vancouver was a logging community at the time, and nobody really lived here yet. So she really was all alone. But she wasn't alone for very long, because we do have a little bit more romance in our story. Down to the next stop.